located in Mukah Division, Balingan is a bazaar about 57 kilometers from Mukah, the divisional capital. The road is good and traffic is light. The journey goes through a flat coastal area with the sea on the left hand side. Upon reaching this roundabout, the bazaar is just right ahead. Passing by some kampongs before reaching Balingyan Bazaar. And finally, Balingyan Bazaar appeared before my eyes. So here I am, Balingya Bazaar, with the waterfront in front. The population of this sub-district consists of about 68% Ibans, 30% Melanaos and the rest are Chinese. The bazaar itself with about 15 shop houses are managed mainly by the Chinese. Other than sago, rice, pepper and other agricultural products, timber used to be an important economic activity. Balingyan enjoyed an economic boom back in the 1950s when logging was carried out and sawmills were set up. However, from 2003 onwards, the rapid decline of the timber industry soon affected the bazaar. Since then, the bazaar was no longer as vibrant as before and the younger generation left for greener pastures elsewhere. Balinga has mainly retained its original setup of wooden shop houses built on stilts. During my visit, not all the shops were open, but those that were open were well stocked with goods. There were also several coffee shops operating. There is another row of shop houses but they are in very bad condition and mostly unoccupied, perhaps signifying the difficult time faced. On the opposite bank of the river, several bird houses can be seen. Famous for its fish and prawns, anglers were seen trying their luck.
And like many towns in Sarawak, a Tua Pek Kong temple was built at the edge of the bazaar, giving a strategic view of the river. Sago is still an important economic activity here. Recent development has shown that the future of Balingyan is very promising. Balingyan is located within the Sarawak Corridor of Renewable Energy. There is also a coal mine here. In addition to that, several large oil palm plantations are operating in the area as part of the development due to the establishment of a regional growth center here. Improved roads have made traveling to Muka, Cebu and Bintulu very convenient. And there is a new township built a short distance from the old bazaar. So will Balingan be vibrant once again? <laughs> <laughs>